holy God, these are uncertain times. We hear the drumbeat of war and hostility in China and Taiwan and in India and in Azerbaijan, Armenia, Iran, and in smaller conflicts among villages and towns, states, and, and even in our homes. We feel the tension of hostility in our homes, among our friends and families, as this pandemic and its consequences continue to dominate our lives. We are frustrated with injustice and unrest, wondering where has common sense gone in our country, a country founded on vision and freedom and a constitution that is supposed to protect the innocent, provide power to all people and govern fairly through the rule of law. These are uncertain times and it's scary. And now we are in the midst of an election. Maybe God, it is a divine comedy that this election would be held during the Halloween season as things are scary. The world is unsafe and the personalities and the media and the candidates for office seem like costume characters rather than candidates and journalists. God, remind us that you are in control and that all things work together for your glory. Remind us that you are with us no matter the trial. Remind us that we are held in the palm of your hand. God, in this moment, we lift those who are paralyzed with fear. Please bring peace. We pray for the places in our world where violence is tearing at the fabric of our world. Please bring peace. We pray for those who are hungry, poor, unemployed, homeless, and challenged by the economics of this moment. Please bring resources and hope. We pray for the children of our world who have been kept home these many months. Please protect them and keep them healthy and learning. We pray for the ill and those quarantined. God, bring healing. Let us see your miracles in hospital rooms and bedsides. Let us be reminded of your miracles of healing, both in the gifts of modern medicine and the miraculous power of your Holy Spirit. And God, on this day, we lift before you those who honor you by serving others. We pray for first responders and caregivers. We pray for those who provide for us and those who protect us. We pray for all who serve us in supermarkets and drugstores and throughout our community. We are grateful, God, that you have made people capable and blessed by relationship. Now in this time, protect those relationships. Finally, God, we pray against this pandemic and the fear, sickness, and anger that it has brought through our world. Heal us, God, and show the world your grace once again. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.